Hey guys, this is Lauren, and today I will be making a profitable farming guide video. So, herbs alone are actually not terrible experience in the higher level you plant. You can actually make quite a bit of experience. So I will be planting dwarf weed. Um, if you plant torsals, I would be aware of that because unless you're like me and sometimes you have terrible, terrible luck with this, your plants like to die. Like sometimes three to four will die. And that's only because the fifth one can't die. And I am also using the Trollheim patch. And then four marigold seeds because the seeds alone are pretty cheap compared to the actual marigold's price. And then Morcella mushrooms, also super cheap. Uh, most people prefer to use super compost bins, but I actually like using the spell for it fertile soil. It's just, instead of carrying around, like, what is that, nine buckets of super compost for everything I plant, it's a lot more convenient just carry three runes around. It's actually cheaper as well. So, if you would like to use that, then you can, but bear in mind if you're doing that, you will have to complete Love Story, and you'll also have to do the little, like, two-minute mini-quests to get the Trollheim tablets. But, other than that, um, I'm wearing my Ardoin cloak, so I can teleport with that. I'm bringing my Explorer ring, my Ectophile. I'm also bringing my Supreme Green Fingers, which, there are different tiers, which, the first one's a 3% chance of getting extra yield, and then it goes up in increments of 2%, and then an extra 3% for Supreme. So, 3, 5, 7, and 10% respectively. But I got that from the loyalty store because I never really use it for anything else except maybe penance. And then I'm bringing my witch doctor mask because I'm also going to be visiting herbal habitat because I have a palm tree there. Uh, dueling ring for my cactus patch. And then the catchers, of course, and then the falador shield also gives you a bonus at that patch. And of course, got my juju potion. My tree ent, which gives you even more yield for, I think it works on all of them, I'm actually not too sure, but I know it definitely works for trees, or fruit trees specifically. And then teleport crystal, so I can get that herb patch there, of rock teleport to go to the gnome patches, brimhaven teleport to go to the brimhaven patch, and then trollheim tablet of course. So let's begin with the Trollheim tablet. Run all the way down the mountain. Then you go in through here. Oh, looks like the door's not open. Climb up the ladder, and the nice thing about this patch is that it never becomes disease because you have a little troll looking after it for you. So if it ever comes disease, he'll cure it. There he is, my arm. Okay, and I recommend having the juju potion, which, oh, I realized I didn't explain it. Uh, this gives you, I think, a 1 in 3 chance of getting more herbs back from a patch. So it really is super, super convenient. So activate your aura, drink your juju potion. Yeah, see I'm getting two in a row. Those past three are... got one that time, another one. I got three that time because it's stacked with a potion aura. So everybody has a different way of doing this, but I actually like using my explorer ring next and going to the cabbage port. Oh, it's dead. Why am I not surprised? Okay, and so we're just gonna be using fertile soil on this. It's easy to keep it on your ability bar. It's really convenient. And then, let's go to Ardoin. Takes it right here. Alternatively, if you don't have the 4 cape or if you only have 3 cape and you can't go to the patch every single time that you wish to, just head on over the lodestone, run all the way along that path, and over here, and you'll be here. 
Okay, and then I know there is a teleport to Catherby, but let's be honest, the load zone literally takes you right there, so... I don't like using runes or anything extra if I don't have to. So let's run up here. Let's see if my herb patch is dead. Oh, it's alive! Woo! And some information about the herb patches is that they grow from anywhere from just over 60 minutes to about 80 minutes. They have a growth cycle, so let's say you're five minutes into the growth cycle, that means it'll only take about 75 minutes for it to grow. It just depends on where you grow it. So the unfortunate thing is that you can go on a farm run and then a couple of your last couple patches that I usually check might not be fully grown. I can take off my nature amulet and I can use it on my herb patch. There we go. See, it tells you your patch has been fully grown. Oh, and I keep clicking it. That's not a problem. Alrighty. Let's pick this patch. Not too bad that patch either. So I'm only at 39 herbs from four patches, which isn't terrible. I'm actually used to getting around 50 as my average, but I guess my dead patch were actually alive, and that might be a different story. Okay, from here on out, people like to use their home teleport and then just use their teleport to Canifus portal. But as I said, I don't like to use things unnecessarily if I don't have to. And so for planting more cellas, if you have the, I want to say the medium Mauritania diary done, then your patch will not become diseased, so you will not have to use uh, super compost for fertile soil, which is really convenient. And then if you have the late diary done, you can actually get double yield, so you'll get 18 more cellas from it. And these take anywhere from three to four hours to grow, so maybe every uh, fourth, maybe third patch of herbs that you check, if you're consistent. Don't forget, you can note stuff by the leprechaun. Then run back. Plant it. And now it's time to check my cactus. And so Triant also doubles the yield from your cactus, which if you've done the Desert Diary 4, you can actually get double yield automatically from the cactus, and then the tree ant can actually add another three on top of that. So let's see how my luck is today. Let's note those. Only two, only two, and three. There we go. Alrighty, now it's time for the fruit tree patches. Right now, I already have coconuts grown, so, you know, there's an initial cost to cover the fee, but the fact of the matter is, is that coconuts have actually been really expensive lately. I'm not too sure why. They actually spiked several K at one point. And so, here's my palm tree. Let's see how I do. Two, one, two, one, one two. So we note those. And so that's nine coconuts. And I've been doing this for over a year now, and so my fees have definitely been covered. For just one tree, you get 35.1k. Yeah, coconuts were actually 5k, I think, a couple months ago. I'm not too sure why, but, you know, it works for me. And then, unless you're, like, constantly doing herbal or habitat, then I would suggest not doing this patch, because you would have to dig up your tree, which probably you don't want to do. Um, I just hunt draconic, so it's not that big of a deal. I can always replant it just once if I need to. Got 11 coconuts from that one. Okay, and then it's really up to you wherever you wish to go next, but there are lots of patches you can go to. So the first one I went to was the Elf City. And then Herbar Habitat, going to Catherby. And then I will be stopping by either Brimhaven or the Gnome Tree Village or Stronghold next. Alrighty, so Brimhaven Tablet, which again, if you have a house maybe at Brimhaven, you can use that. But if you have not completed Love Story, I would definitely recommend completing Love Story. It's a really useful quest. 
if you are ever on a different small book, like I am right now. And then let's go Varrock and use the tree there to teleport us. Oh, one more nice thing about the Green Fingers Aura is that during the time it's active, which is 20 minutes, your plants actually can't get diseased. So if it doesn't cover the growth cycle, which I highly doubt it wouldn't for your first patch, um, then it can still become diseased growing into the next herb cycle. But usually no herbs of yours should die past or during the first growth cycle. And if they do, you have probably as much luck as I do, which is very little. So, Trinome Stronghold, and then we're going to Trinome Village. Follow Alkali, and you'll end up over here. Turn to your patch, and harvest it. So let's check it out. All of this is practically free. So 126k for free. And then this is free after the initial cost, coconuts. So 345k for free in quite a small amount of time. And then my crappy dwarf weeds, which are another 334k minus uh, about 150k in the initial cost, so about 150k there. And yeah, that's it for the video. Thanks for watching.